Hi, Xavier. Um, players in the past have had quite a bit of success playing next to Harrison Smith. I know when you were prepping for Vikings games, you were probably studying their offense. How much do you know about um, Harrison Smith and what it might be like to play next to him? Just as much as I was preparing for, for say, Minnesota's offense, I was watching Harrison. Uh, that was the main thing. That was the main, one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here, to be able to learn from him, be able to play, uh, hopefully get the opportunity to play against him. And uh, not only Harrison, but Pat P. Uh, that was the main reason why I wanted to be here. Chris Thomason. Oh, hey, Xavier. Welcome to Minnesota. How did it just come about uh, that you ended up with the Vikings? I mean, you obviously knew that there was an opening at safety with Anthony Harris. Just how did the whole process come about in you coming to Minnesota and then it being uh, wrapped up on Saturday? These guys wanted me. Uh, the Vikings wanted me, and uh, I talked to Coach, and he told me he, that I had an opportunity to come and play, and that's all I can be. That's all I can ask for the opportunity. And um, like I said, earlier, I told my agent that um, I wanted to be here. I want the opportunity to to play with and learn from Harrison and Pat P. And um, the Lord bless me with that opportunity. Eric Smith. Hey, Xavier, uh, welcome to the team. Um, I know you played one season, I think, for, for Carl Scott at mm -hmm. Louisiana Tech. How much did he play a role, and, and what was your, your, your one season like with him? He played a major, he played a major role as well. Uh, just knowing a familiar face, having a familiar face here, and a guy that I know, his coaching technique, his style, one that I um, love, to play, love, to, love to play for before, I know I love to play for now. Lindsay Young. Hi, Xavier. Welcome to Minnesota. Um, I'll just kind of piggyback off of Eric and, um, you know, what appeals to you about coming and working with Mike Zimmer? Obviously, he's kind of known as as a DB's guru around the league. Um, what do you like about his coaching style and getting to work with him? I love I me. Mean, that was another reason why I talked to him. Uh, the conversation we had, um, it just, it furthermore uh, made me want to come here. Uh, just the conversation we had and what he what he talked about and just from afar uh, I can see his defensive scheme his defensive the tradition the culture that's around here I want to be a part of Matthew Collar Xavier um, you're a guy that emerged from being a, a sixth round draft pick to the last three years you've played at least 975 snaps I mean what do you think is kind of uh, at the root of that success of going from someone who was not drafted high to being a, a consistent starter in the NFL? Uh, my Lord, my Lord and Savior. I mean, without him, none of this would be possible. And uh, what well, he's instilled in me, the talents and skills. And uh, you also had to put the work in to be able to to manifest those things. So uh, definitely, I mean, he, he blessed me with such. And uh, I'd be a fool not to take advantage. Jeff Wald. Hey, Xavier. Welcome to Minnesota. Um, first first of all, what's it like to be drafted by the Dallas Cowboys? I mean, a lot of people consider that America's team. And what, what kind of talent from there can you bring to the Vikings defense? It was a blessing. Um, I think I kind of knew that they would draft me. I mean, not where, uh, not where they drafted me, but I just kind of wanted to be there uh, at the time. And uh, it was a blessing. And uh, what, I'm, what I would like to bring is just – uh, another piece to this defense that uh, can hit, can tackle, can run, can uh, get the ball back, and is a smart, intellectual, instinctive guy. Eric Smith. Yeah, Dave, you're kind of building off that. For Vikings fans who, who don't know much about you, what's your, your greatest skill set on the field? My IQ and my instincts. Uh, that's my greatest, greatest trait. Chris Thomas. Hey, Xavier, talk about your 2020 season. A lot of observers thought maybe it wasn't quite as good as some of your previous years. I know the whole defense uh, struggled with Dallas last year, but how'd you feel about your season you had in 2020? And uh, what do you need to do to maybe have a better season this year? Personally, I feel as though I didn't have a good season at all, not to my standard. Um, and I reviewed it. I've uh, 
now I now know what I need to work on as far as to not be in that situation again, not to, not to play like that again. And uh, I'm working, I'm working each and every day to to better myself so that that doesn't happen again. But yeah, me personally, yeah, I definitely had a bad season.